Here we go. And I know you guys are here because you're trying to figure out how to put lead bold ads on your mobile apps through George script. And a lot of people say it's not possible, but yes, it is. I figured out many methods to do it. And I'm going to show you one of the best ways I've come up with. Um, I'm going to open my app. It's called uh, Trendy Digital Pal Light. And you can see the ad there at the bottom. Uh, it's straight from Lead Bolt and a banner. And now I'm going to show you the full screen, which you can activate at any time. And I also have a uh, uh, exit button that you saw at the top there. So that gives the user the option of clicking off that ad when they want to. However, you can modify this to exit in seconds on its own, which I will show you. I'm gonna uh, have a link in the video. Um, but I'll go more into that later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you the properties and elements and tags that I have used. And there's only a small section that you need to activate to be able to put these lead bolt ads onto your Droid script app. So now I have um, my variables and elements here, and I'm going to show you the layout. What you need to do is create a new layout just for the ads and especially the full screen. Um, the banner ad could actually go on to your original layout if you place it properly. And all that will be shown uh, on my uh, tag that I insert into the package. And uh, I will have the link for that, so it'll have all the details. But um, here I'm showing you the uh, variable name, uh, which I named uh, wet for the banner and then uh, WEP for the full screen ad that stretches and here's a very small small section as you can see here and there's my web view where I choose the load URL option and I'm going to link my HTML file to that so you're going to create a separate HTML file when you create your app and that's what you see there and there's the lead bolt address and you can see uh, there's very uh, minimal coding there that allows the lead bolt app to run or add to run I mean um, but I will give a uh, template of all of those instructions in the link below so you can actually look at it and figure out how to do it yourself or you can purchase the full template and it's in a, uh, a script format so all you do is uh, you purchase it for a couple of dollars, you open it, you uh, paste it to your app and enter your own uh, ID information. So when you create your ad on Letbolt, then you just enter your numbers in for that ad and it will show your ads instead of mine. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's how simple it is. And I'm uh, showing you the layouts that I'm going through. So I created a, uh, a second and third layout uh, in this occasion. And... Some of you might have also liked the uh, spinner that I put on the uh, main activity. Um, then I will like give more details about that later. I'm coming out with a video of how to do uh, like kind of uh, more of the George script hidden tricks behind their application that they don't uh, express in their website or their instructional videos. Um, they pretty much don't have those uh, methods anywhere and there's not a plugin to be able to put lead bolt ads in your app. So you now that's why I've created this way to do it. And you can see it works great. And like I said, you can adjust it, uh, modify it however you want. Um, and some other apps I have it uh, to where it, you know, it disappears in a few seconds, which uh, you can set an interval for that. Um, but if you have no idea what I'm referring to, then I will give you detail about that. All of these are going to be in separate videos. So, of course, you should hit the subscribe button and that will show you uh, the videos that we post and you'll get them firsthand instead of being able to or having to look all over YouTube or the Internet for this because um, I've tried to search for it. Um, as far as, you know, like competition to see who would have the best method and, uh, I can't find anything, you know? So, uh, according to what I see, I've created the best method for this and you don't have to use an iframe. It's just all web view. Um, but, uh, if you're more familiar with coding, then you can look at the code that I've shown in this video and be able to figure it out. But if not, then 
um, you can spend a couple of dollars and I will give you the script for it. Um, but I'm going through my app right now. And the most important part is when you create these layouts is that they don't overlay um, on top of other elements um, or functions that you have that are associated with your app because you, know, um, you can have it to where your your uh, layer is full screen and you don't see the rest of it you know it's kind of uh, transparent but then you're not able to click on the buttons in your app so now I'm showing you how I'm able to actually use my app and also have the ad shown below and uh, I've already checked with Leadbo all of the clicks um, all of the views register with their website so it's all straightforward and it all works 100 percent um so i'll just showing you again going back uh here i set it up to where you know they want to look at the option of purchasing my uh pro version of this and then it goes back to a full screen ad um but everything works on here just great so uh look forward to the new videos to come all right see you guys later